Alright folks, this is another video showing the uh, Emerson Kershaw CQC7K, that's a Tanto blade, and uh, what we're going to do today is, is that some people prefer to have standoffs instead of a backspacer, so I'm going to do a quick mod video showing the removal of this backspacer and using the standoffs that are already inside of it. Um, it's not really a big deal to me, I'm not sure if I prefer a backspacer or standoffs. But this, this knife's a little bit heavy, so anything I can do to lighten it up, I'm going to go ahead and do. And I get that that's only minimal, but uh, minimal. But I think it'll be a cool cool mod to do anyway. I did see somebody post pictures of it on Blade Forms, so uh, that's kind of where I got the idea. So uh, I'm going to tape this blade, and then I'm going to start disassembling the knife. Even those blades taped, you, you still want to be careful, because um, accidents can and do happen. So first thing I'm going to do is take out this pivot. Oh boy. So the other side of the pivot I'm going to leave in there so the blade's going to stay intact. And I'm going to try to do this all through working through one side and uh, I'm going to pick this side because you can see the stop pin right there. You can't see it on the G10 side. I'm also hoping that I'm going to be able to do this without cutting off the lanyard that I just put on there last night. And I doubt that that's going to happen. All right, well, maybe it will. No, it's definitely not because I gotta. I'm going through that piece. So there we go, lanyard's gone. Okay, the backspacer came right off, and so you can see the standoffs are right there. So um, hopefully, you can see the nylon washer on there. Hopefully, this just slides right back together, no problem. So I got the pivot in. Okay, I think I'm lined up here. So let's go ahead and put the pivot screw in. And I'm not going to tighten that all the way. Alright, next I'm going to drop these in. All right, I think I got to do some more lining up here. It's not quite lined up. Right, guys, there was two problems. Uh, the first one was is that when I was tightening the screws on this side, they were spinning on that side, so I had to get another screwdriver. And then the other problem was is that these standoffs were kind of press fit into this scale. So once I had it lined up, I stuck it in a vise, uh, that not a not a metal vise, a rubber vise, and uh, and squeezed it in. But uh, I didn't have the camera with me when I did all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these screws in now. And uh, we should be done. These screws are pretty soft, so I don't I don't want to strip any of them. All 
Alright folks, there's the finished product. Let's zoom this up, maybe you can see a little better. So I think the standoffs look a little bit better. Um, you know, I can joke around and say that this reduced a lot of weight, but it didn't. Um, I didn't know how much it was going to take out of there or not, but uh, anyhow, a little bit of weight lost off of this knife is better. Um, it does carry a little heavy in the pocket, but uh, it is still lighter than a real Emerson. Alright, that's it. Thanks guys.